Hi guys, my name is Lexi Saucedo and I am a voice teacher. In this video, I'm gonna be talking about how to sing with confidence and how to improve your voice in three different ways. Now, I might include another tip towards the end of the video, but you will have to wait and see if there is one. There might be, we shall see. <laughs> If you haven't already subscribed to my YouTube channel, please feel free to hit the subscribe button, like this video, leave a comment down below on things that you would like to see, would want to learn more about the voice. I not only do vocal tips, but I also do vocal reactions and covers as well, just for fun. Tip number one is knowing when to narrow the vowel, knowing when to open it up. So for example, if we look at the song, Never Enough, when she sings those high notes, Sometimes she says never, but she says niva, which narrows the vowel in a way where it's easy to get in that belty mix sound that you want. Because when you narrow the vowel, it makes it easier for you to sing in a way where you're not pushing. So knowing when to narrow the vowel is important, but also knowing when to open it up. She, she's not like niva, niva. You know, she's like niva, niva. She opens it up, which adds more tone, creates space. So you just kind of want to find that balance in your voice. Singing is all about balance. Tip number two is singing with a straw. Now practice with the straw. I recommend it for you. I personally would not recommend like a regular drinking straw. The regular straw, it does work but I feel like it's not as effective as a smaller straw like this because this one has a little bit more resistance. So it's definitely a lot better than a regular straw. So I recommend using this. Now, if maybe you feel like you have a hard time singing a song, say, all the stars of a thousand spots and I don't see from that sky. So if, if you feel like, oh, that feels so weird when I sing it. So we could take the straw, okay? and sing that line with the straw. Now you don't want to allow air to escape from your nose because that's not using the straw correctly because your soft palate is being lowered and air is coming through, but you wanna keep your soft palate up. So this is what that's gonna sound like. Using the straw is an important tool to have because that is key to knowing how to blend your chest voice and your head voice. Now, of course, that takes time and coordination because you have to learn how to hang on, where to let go. You have to find that balance and that shift in your voice. But what I'm trying to say is that being aware of that resonance is the key to singing without a break. Next time you practice or you have a hard time singing a certain line or a phrase, use a straw. Practice with the straw. It'll help you to balance airflow, muscle resistance, and where you're feeling your resonance behind your soft palate, which is very, very important as a singer. Number three is confidence and practicing with intentionality. Now, this doesn't mean all right, I'm just, I'm doing this song. I'm just gonna sing it like three or four times and then boom, that's my practice. Like I'm done, I did my reps for the day, that's good. No, <laughs> that's not a practice. <laughs> that is not good practice, I should say. That is not making the most of your time and practicing efficiently because I feel like you kind of have that mindset of whatever comes out, comes out. And that's not being intentional. That's not making the most of your time and of your voice because everyone has that potential to grow and to strengthen their voice and to have the confidence that they need to be an amazing singer. I truly believe that. But no, that is not what you want to do. That's not what your practices should look like. You want to be intentional. You want them to be focused. You want to break down the verse, the chorus, different words, and try different ways that you could sing it now. Singing with confidence also has to do with feeling. Now, like I've said in a previous video, is that the same feeling as being scared is the same as being excited. You wanna change your mindset and trick yourself to say, hey, I'm not scared, I'm excited. Like, this is gonna be awesome. It's gonna be great. I'm gonna hit that high note. Everyone's gonna love it. 
You just really want to pump yourself up, hype yourself up because it's going to be awesome. You don't want to be scared when you're on stage because a whole bunch of things can go wrong if you are scared. Now, I also recommend that if you do have access to like like a sound check or being on stage before your actual performance to get comfortable on stage. Do like some hand poses, like just kind of get comfortable, kind of move around and like dance and just feel the environment of like being on the platform. That will definitely get you comfortable on stage as well. Now, when it comes to singing with confidence, you also want to record yourself. Now that helps you. If you're like me, and you feel very uncomfortable recording your voice, just do it, just do it. Because <laughs> I'm telling you, once you get over that fear of how you sound, it will definitely help you sing with confidence. Now, one thing I want you to know is that when you record yourself, that is how you really sound versus how you sound to yourself when you're singing and practicing. So that's something to keep in mind when you're practicing is to record yourself and you'll kind of be like, ooh, maybe I shouldn't have done that. Maybe I could have did this instead. That would have sounded better. So then you go back, you press record and you're like, ah, and then you listen back to that and you're like, okay, that sounds better, <laughs> right? So just some tips under that bracket of confidence. So yeah, that's just something to be aware of when it comes to confidence, something that you might want to do as a singer yourself. If you have made it this far into this video, here's a bonus tip for you, okay? This has to do with being aware of vocal fold closure. And this helps you as a singer because it's not only under the bracket of style, but it's dynamics and emotion as well. Now, if we take the song Never Enough and I'd sing the verse, I could sing it like this. I'm trying to hold my breath, let it stay this way. Can't let this moment end. You set off a dream in me. Now it sounds good, okay? It sounds good, I'm on pitch. However, there wasn't much dynamics in there. It sounded very straightforward, very flat, not much that I can go for the rest of the song, if that makes sense. How I sang that was there was a lot more vocal full closure where the sound was clear. Now I'm gonna sing it again where I have a good amount of vocal full closure where it sounds clear but also a little bit less to where it has more of that breathy, airy sound. So this is what that would sound like. Trying to hold my breath, let it stay this way. And let this moment end. So kind of like that. Like it's not very forward. There is dynamics in there that adds texture to the song, but also emotion. And that is something that is very important as a singer to know how to do because it adds more style in your song. Thank you for watching this video on how to sing with confidence and how to improve your voice.